mentioned in my last travel vlog, we flew from Calgary to Montreal, the largest city in the Quebec region. It was about a five hour flight crossing the country, which actually went by really quickly. Once we landed in Montreal, we checked into our accommodation and ended our day with dinner at the Japanese restaurant downstairs. The food was super amazing. Our hotel was located in the heart of Old Montreal, which has a historic character to it and features buildings with attractive European facades. Currently going for lunch at Crew Collective Cafe here in Montreal and apparently it's very well known here because of the architecture so we'll have to check it out I'll let you guys know what I think yeah it's just very cold here today I'm wearing so many layers this is my fit docks jeans and my north face could have been along free fall you got me off of the ground Then spend the afternoon exploring the city and sightseeing. We headed to town to visit the Christmas market and did some shopping around. We're at the Notre Dame Basilica. We then paid a visit to the Notre Dame Basilica, which was built in 1656 and it's known for its intricately designed interior. It was definitely one of the most beautiful churches we had ever visited, however there was an entrance fee unlike most churches, but it was definitely worth it. We had dinner at Monarch, a French restaurant located in the old town. I ordered the crab roll and had a pavlova for dessert. It was such an unforgettable dinner experience as every single dish we had ordered was exceptional. I didn't film every day here, but on our final day, we spent the morning visiting historic churches before leaving for Quebec City. The locations we had visited had such a French charm to them and made me reminiscent of my trip to France back in April. Good morning. It is very cold here in Montreal. Back in the car. I'm getting ready to head to Quebec City. After spending most of our day in the car, we had finally arrived in Quebec City. We made it just on time for the German Christmas market, Marché de Noël, which was such an incredible experience, which truly made it feel like a European Christmas. We strolled through cobblestone streets and wandered around the walled city, where thousands of twinkling lights illuminated the facades of historic buildings. Everywhere we turned was so enchanting and magical, it felt like we had stepped straight into a Christmas movie set. We woke up to a chilly morning with snow blanketed everywhere. We ate at the Fremont Hotel for brunch, overlooking the partly frozen St. Lawrence River. We explored the town after brunch, strolling past quaint stores and cozy bistros giving the city an old world charm. It was truly the definition of a winter wonderland. We visited Saint Anne de Beaupuré, outside of the city which is an important Catholic century, which receives about half a million pilgrims each year. It was a spectacular church and was incredibly large. everywhere and it looks like road but it's actually ice so you can like slip whoa oh this is cool slippery even though it looks like it's not you have to be so careful like i am literally like holding on to my life right now 
was at a, like at a, like a TV show, like it's like a house, like a creepy TV show, but like it's still so beautiful. We are heading back to our hotel right now to get dinner and call it a day because I'm honestly done with this weather. Even though it's so beautiful here, I am absolutely done with it. Last week was spent in Toronto, where we spent most of our time shopping, eating delicious food, and catching up with family. The highlight of Toronto was probably getting to take Niagara Falls off my bucket list. It was packed with tourists, however, we had such a fun time here and definitely want to come back one day in the summertime. We flew back to Vancouver the following week, which brings my Canadian travel diaries to an end. Thank you so much for watching and making it this far. I had the most amazing time and hope to be back soon in Canada.